Welcome back to DVC Weekly. This is episode 54. My name is Jason Erpeling. I'm the broker of Buy and Sell DVC, and I'm here with Scott Ferrioli. I'm the owner of DVC-Rental.com and BuyAndSellDVC.com. And uh, today is Wednesday, February 16th, 2022. So your 11 month booking window is already going to be January 16th, 2022. And your seventh month booking window is going to be uh, September 16th, 2022. And I, I just want to mention real quick, you know, because we got a lot of people in our Facebook group uh, that join that, you know, they're looking for reservations. And if you if you hop in there and say, I'm looking for a reservation for something that is 10 months in advance, and it's at Bay Lake Tower. Well, the you know that's when the DVC Dash Rental team they have to have a member that owns at Bay Lake Tower yeah. to book that reservation. That's why the uh, you know the booking dates matter when it comes to that. Because if it's if it's under seven months, it doesn't matter where the points come from. And so, I'll mention the Facebook group is Disney Vacation Club. I'm oh, sorry, Disney Vacation. DVC Resales, D, oh my God, Disney Vacation Club Resales, DVC. Disney Vacation Club Resales, DVC. There, in the description below, there's a link to the yeah, Facebook yeah. group. So uh, yeah, please She's join, because uh, it's, it's a lot of information in there for you. It's a lot to say when you forget for a second. Yes. I, I had it while you were talking, like, I mentioned Disney Vacation Club Resales, DVC, and now I'm like, DVC, Disney, uh, I forgot. <laughs> uh, we're gonna start with Scott first this week from the DVC oh, yeah, dash rental side. After a cover after that. <laughs> So I mentioned previously that I just got back from the Disney Dream. Uh, this was my second sailing on the Dream within three months, and we've gone. Wait, on. wait, what were the dates on this one? This was Jan really January seventeenth to twenty first. Well, I'm just curious what the weather was like. It was it was a little bit cool, but it was before it got really cold. Okay, before. so it was not bad. Um, Again, this was the second sailing on the Dream, and between the, the Dream Sandwich, I had a Royal Caribbean Mariner of the Season there. So now I can do a, the best comparison for all of them. Because the Disney Dream, I think I went in with specific expectations, and you're, I was paying a lot of money. So everything, I, I obviously it was biased. This time, as a travel agent, I got a ridiculously good price on it. So it, was, it made it a similar price to Royal Caribbean. But... I'll go on. We got. I can't wait to get to the internet part. <laughs> so, the it, it, internet part was perfectly fine. The internet again. Mariner of the Seas had issues on the internet for that cruise. This one, just like before, it's just they charge you ninety dollars per gig, and we were able to cut back a little bit, so it wasn't as bad. But I mean, internet was fine. It was streaming pretty well. There was no issues with the internet. Uh, we had a really great time on this. We actually. I went down to the uh, concierge level, and I, I just wanted it. Well, actually, customer service. I just wanted. Inquire about staying on the ship and we were doing a four day and there's you know back to back is the three day You know when you come back it goes out that same exact day the three day was like triple the price of what I paid So I unfortunately I had to leave because I wasn't gonna do that had a really great time um, Comparing the two ships. I would say the food is a little bit better on the Disney dream than the Mariner of the Seas Not by a huge amount, but it's a little bit better the desserts are a little bit better on Royal Caribbean versus Disney and, and for the money Again, this is, I, I got a great deal. I'm very happy with it. And I would, again, I want to stay on the ship. But for the money you're paying, I feel like the desserts need to be better. They're just not sweet enough. A lot of times, like, you just have that. On the Disney one, you're saying? Right? Yes. Like, okay. they have a good couple, like, special desserts. And then, like, lots of them just have, like, a basic ice cream sundae that they make. And a lot of times, we're going with just the ice cream sundae just because the other desserts just, it, it seems like they don't put enough sugar in it. Like, a lot of times, all the chocolate, it's a dark chocolate. It's never sweet. This, it always seems like it needs sugar. And, and we had the cheesecake several times. Disney just can't get cheesecake right on these ships. It's always like gelatinous and it's just, it's just bad. But again, that's, the, that's just the desserts. Really had a great time. And did it. both sons eat the desserts? Most of the time, yes. Okay. I think once maybe they left the good news. You and the desserts. <laughs> you and my kids. <laughs> but had, had a really great time. Lots of entertainment on the ship. There was, a, there was an amazing violinist who was playing. That we, we purposely tried to make sure we got out and about and do like a lot of stuff that we normally didn't do. Like go to the bar areas where the performers, like we watched the, the pianist play and a great violinist. Uh, we did trivia three times. We, 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 won one, we won the Pixar trivia and two of the other trivias became in second place. So like people, like one of them was a Marvel and one was maybe just a Disney trivia and like 
like we were second places. That's impressive. No, we, 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 I mean, it wasn't was three people, cruising. right? No, no, no. There, there okay. was. There was I, I don't know. It depended. Maybe there was eight groups or something like That's that. That's pretty good. And one of them was on a Disney Cruise Line trivia, and unbelievably, we got second. And it was only my second cruise, and I'd only done the dream, you know. And they're asking questions about all these other ships, but to be honest, they, they, they were lighter sailings. I mean, I think there were about thirteen hundred people on our ship, and the ship holds close to four. I believe. Oh wow! So the, it's, you it's, had a whole floor to yourself. Yeah, pretty much so. It was it was it was really really nice. So I enjoyed that. Uh, did went to Castaway Cay again. Um, I enjoyed it more this time. Last time we did Castaway Cay, we did the Stingray Tour, which was a lot of fun. But then it started raining, and it just we didn't get a, to explore enough or do as much stuff. This was definitely better this time. But Royal Caribbean has Coco Cay, which is their private island, which still blows away Castaway Key. So Disney can do better there. And what I didn't like is that there's um, there's only like, there's two like Bahamian shops where you can like go and, and buy stuff. They're both closed because of because of COVID. Whereas Royal Caribbean, there's literally probably 20 shops on the beach, and they're all up and running and doing well. So Coco Key is definitely better. But there, there were no issues with anything on this boat. I had a great time. Um, one thing I will point out is that I didn't, which I found really odd for Disney, is that I didn't see half as many people cleaning as I did on Royal Caribbean. Like on Royal Caribbean, they were constantly going, you know, cleaning the rails, cleaning the elevator. You know, it, it, it was a presence that you felt. With Disney this time, I didn't see it. I was like, is anybody cleaning this stuff so, as well? I mean, so I just, it's one of those things I go, if, you know, maybe Disney could do a little bit better on it. But again, not disparaging it. Love, love, love the cruise. But for the money, if I have to choose, and I'm not getting a great discount, I'm pretty much going to go with Royal Caribbean. But again, if Disney, if Disney comes on par prices with some of these great discounts, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely do Disney again. But on the, the piano time. playing, was it like doing pianos, like Jelly Rolls? No, or was no, it like no, Billy it was, Joel songs? Or? It, 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 he played different stuff. Sometimes they play pop music, sometimes they play Disney classical music. Two piano players or just one? One guy. And one sometimes guy. he was in the, in the main atrium playing. A lot of times, I mentioned yeah, I mentioned last week that um, we were sitting in the area where the DVC guides were. A lot of times we were just sitting there in the lounge working and like the piano player was in the atrium one floor below and he was sitting there, play, or maybe one or two floors below, but just sitting there playing, just sitting there listening to him. And there was just a, a violinist who was fantastic. She was going to different lounges and she's playing, you know, pop music and some stuff. She was um, Ukrainian. So one day we didn't get to see it, but there, she was playing uh, music from like her home country and other like foreign music from all different countries, not US stuff. We didn't make that one, but again, she played pop music. She, was, she played a, a bunch of different stuff and she was absolutely fantastic. So we just, we had a really good time. The entertainment was great. We just wanted to make sure we did different lounges, did some trivia stuff, which you don't normally do, and just had a had a really, really nice time and just didn't want to leave. We're having such a good time and no rocking on the boat at all. Like didn't feel anything. It was, it was a great cruise. So when, when, when you compare the entertainment between the two, what, because the Royal Caribbean, do they have like ice skating shows? Yes. Comedians? D Royal Caribbean has a lot, has more entertainment. Okay. I found that's what they, Disney's lacking a little bit. You know, they, they've got... So what's Disney's? I, I forget what, when you did your... There's not much. They, 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 have, they have a Beauty and the Beast show, which we did last time, which was very, very good. And then they have another show that we... <laughs> I'm almost embarrassed to say it. It was so bad we walked out in the middle of it. It was just boring and nothing to do with real Disney. It, it was just... It, it, it seemed like a high school kind of put it on. It just, it, it, really? it, it was, it was not good. And this was during the, the cruise ship with only 1,300 people? Yes. So yeah, normally- Is the entertainment back because of the, it's not full capacity or is that normal? No, the entertainment should be back. Um, last, last, when we did the cruise in- November? October. October? Yeah, no, November was the Mariner of the Seas. October was the Disney Dream. When we did the last one, they had two Beauty and the Beast showings and we did both of them. They didn't have this show playing. Um, this time they had one Beauty and the Beast show and this show, and we didn't do the Beauty and the Beast show because we did it twice last time, which I kind of wish I had done it again because it was a really, really good show. And instead we did this show and it was disappointing. It was so let's say the folks out there that had never cruised before, what are the biggest tips that you would give them if they're looking at either one, Royal Caribbean or Disney? I mean, honestly, I, I find the two very, very comparable. If you have, if you have young kids and you can swing it, 
do the Disney. Because you're, you're, you're your kids' kids. ages are 14, 11 and 14. 11 and 14. They're 11 so and keep 14. that in mind, folks. 11 and 14, they're not always eating desserts. And boys, desserts, but, and boys as and well. And they're boys. So, because a lot of times, you know, they have tons of meet and greets with the characters and a lot of the princesses and stuff. And truthfully, my kids don't really care about standing and meeting Cinderella. So if you've got younger ones or if you've, maybe you've got little girls and, and you can swing it, do the do the Disney True Cruise Line because it's it's a great time. You know that you'll you'll never pretty much be upset. The only thing you can pretty much be upset about really is just the price. And if you, and as far as like pool activities on the deck, if you have six and eight year olds, they compare the two cruises are pretty similar um, or yeah, pr pretty similar. They, you know they have basic stuff going on, not not much, but all the pools that they've got smaller pools, but then you've got slides and. Disney has the aqueduct on theirs, which is the little uh, water roller coaster that goes around the ship, which is a bunch of fun. We didn't do this trip because it was a little too cold for me, but we did it back in October and that was fun. But very similar, do, do Disney if you can. If you can't, or you know, if you, especially if you have little kids, otherwise you, you'll be very happy with Royal Caribbean. I, again, I've gone on them several times now. I find them very, very comparable to Disney. Maybe they're one little step below, but a lot of times if they're a third of the price, it's it's kind of hard to beat Royal Caribbean. Well, that sounds like you had a good time. Are we have do we have more cruises coming up again or right right now we have another Royal Caribbean oh cruise my. planned for March. I'm not sure if we're keeping it. I at, we've still spring think, break? Yeah, it's, it's over spring break. So one one thing that's a concern is that the prices for it, because it's spring break, are higher. We're supposed to have a suite for this one, which we've never done before, but prices are higher and the when talking to Royal Caribbean, it seems like the ship's pretty much at capacity. They're not, they've got like 40 rooms left. I think they're still trying to social distance some stuff, so they're not opening the, everything. But it seems like it's going to be a much more crowded ship, which is making us kind of, you know, double think some stuff going, do we, do we want to do it again? Because we, again, we, we've just done so many cruises recently. I'm going, do we do this again? But we, we've been having a, a lot of time. But last time I was on Royal, Royal Caribbean, Internet had an issue, which again should, was just odd that should be fixed. And we did have some issues with um, it was a little rocky, which maybe is just weather. I don't know if somehow, or maybe the Disney Dream is somehow better equipped, better stabilizers than the Royal Caribbean ship. But the Royal Caribbean, we felt a decent amount more moving. So that, that's what I think that's what I've been a little tentative about with the next cruise. But we'll see. I'm not it's up in the air still. All right, now we're on to your food review of the week. Do your thing, Ty. Come here, I'm gonna eat ya! Get in my belly! So I have to keep talking again, huh? Oh, done so much talking already. Yes. Food review. I'm lose my voice here. It's, as you saw in the picture- Is this on the cruise ship? No, this is not. Oh, I, right. I, thought about, I thought about doing the cruise ship. I figured a lot of people, you know, might not want that just because you well, know- you, the, Well, I mean, it's based on what you said, we need a dessert review from the Disney cruise ship. I'll do a That's cruise your one. next assignment. I'll do a cruise one coming up shortly, I promise. I just, I, I didn't know if that was like too selective. Like a lot, not a lot of people have done the cruises. I didn't want to do it. More people have done the parks. You got to do it. Okay, I'll do it. So this is the Mickey Head Chocolate Chip Cookie. Uh, this is pretty much a staple across Disney property. So as you see, it, it's, it's a big cookie. It's, it's about this large, I would say. You know, it's cookie. It's got the Mickey heads on top. And it's chocolate chip. It's got it's drizzled, drizzled chocolate on it. And the ears and the top, like 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 a little Mickey hat, are dipped in chocolate. So the whole thing is chocolate covered on the, on the front. This is, it's a, it's a giant but basic cookie. The flavor is decent. I always prefer like a chewier cookie like the Gideon's that we had. This is like a more crunchy cookie. It's a decent cookie, but this cookie provides a great bang for the buck, for the, especially if you've got kids. Like, you know, we used to go to a park, like we, they had this at Animal, Animal Kingdom. Uh, when I just did the Bay Lake Tower review. When we went to other shops at Contemporary, they had this cookie at um, Bay Lake at Contemporary as well. So, you know, it's, it's across multiple places on Disney property. And what we used to do when my kids were younger, I'd get one cookie and we end up splitting it between them. So it's on the thrifty side, good bang for the buck. The kids can easily split it and there's normally leftovers. And it's $5.49. So you get a big cookie and it's split, you know, you can split it for $5.50. That's not bad. Score, I give it a 5.9. It's nothing especially special, but again, for for the value, I mean, if, if you're looking for value, this is a great cookie. If you're looking for taste, go elsewhere because it, it, it's not gonna knock your socks off, but especially good for the kids. If you wanna get yourself something a little more special and your kids, kids are little and aren't- Wait, did your kids it. eat this? Yes, my kids have okay. had this before. A couple times, you just, you know, 
just break it in half and you give it to them and they'll eat it for a while and odds are they're not going to finish it. So it's a big cookie and again, relatively inexpensive. So great value for what you're getting. That sounds wonderful. All right, now we're on to the buy and sell side. Finally. And uh, for those that don't know, you know, a lot of people think, well, Disney's only selling Riviera and they're only selling Alani. Mm-hmm. But uh, Disney does have prices, you know, for all their other resorts. Based, you know, sometimes they get a buyback or foreclosures or something like that. Um, so the uh, Disney's Beach Club, the price directly from Disney is is going. I'm not sure. You're not sure on the date on this. It's going to two sixty five a point. That's yeah. if you don't mind me asking, because again, resale wise, what is what a, a similar beach club contract? Going if you're for? just going to go with a, just say a basic two hundred point listing yeah. with two hundred points coming in uh, 2022, it's probably going to be like around one forty eight to one fifty three a point. Something so like that. almost a hundred dollars a point right, less. Right. And I mean and I mean, you know, like when you debate something, you're I mean, I was always taught that you should always see, you know, both sides of the argument. You know, like you know, how can this person think this? How can this person think this? Well, when I look at these prices, it's hard for me to think anymore, why would someone buy Beach Club Twenty thousand dollars directly more. from Disney at this point. Twenty grand, you know, because I, I just expiring twenty forty two, right? And <laughs> twenty thousand so, dollars cheaper than yeah. For, and then you have Boardwalk at two thirty a point, Hilton Head at one fifty five a point, and Vero Beach at one forty a point. So the the thing I did, I mean, again, I just want to, you know, personally, I think if everyone's aware of what's going on, I don't think anyone is going to choose this option. Because if you they choose, people, and that's what's crazy is that people don't know about resale, and people are going to buy this directly from Disney. They ha- they have a market for it, and you go, you, you could buy it. And again, I'm not, I'm not even just pushing ourselves. You could buy this resale for a hundred dollars a point less, or you know, Boardwalk might be eighty, ninety dollars a point less. But you're looking at a two hundred point contract, a twenty thousand dollar savings, an eighteen thousand dollar savings. I mean, and, and people don't know about this, and people are going to be buying this direct from Disney. Well, so it's crazy. And it's like, you know, like if you say Bay Lake Tower 2009, someone bought it direct and they paid, you know, $95, $100 a point or something. It's a great deal. You know? So, but, you know, and then they, but they bought it direct and then, you know, they resell it now in 2022. They're selling it for, you know, typically 160 to 170 a point. I, I can guarantee that's, you anybody who buys that beach club at 265 is not going to be reselling that for a profit. That's, in the, that's future. the thing. That's, you know, <laughs> that's going to be a huge, you know, I don't like to use the word guarantee, but you know, it's hard to imagine. And then it's just like, you know, they're the beach. So that person, you know, if something happens two years and they're looking to resell it again, I'm not trying to go viral or anything, but I just, we I, are. I go viral, make this go viral. I don't see how you can buy uh, these resorts directly from Disney at this point. I, you know what I mean? Like, if if there's, try to, I mean, just, that decent just try to look at the other side though and say, I mean, are you buying it because you want to get a blue card because you want to get a discount on, by the what is it, the Sorcerer's Pass or yes, yeah, so it's the Sorcerer's Pass. So I mean, I mean, why would someone if you knew if you had all the information available to you, can you see what? There's no, there, are, there are no passes right now either. Right, right, right. They're not. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, if you had all this information in front of you, can you see why no. someone? Is, not, not not these. There are others, possibly like Riviera. Right, right. Like if you wanted to buy Riviera, Riviera Direct, one sixty five or something like that, one eighty. Yeah, I mean, I forget the exact price for Riviera, but you go, okay, there's not a giant jump. Right, it's right. Brand there's new. Not, that makes sense, but it, it, I don't know how any anybody who who has all the information in front of them could possibly make that decision yeah. to, to book these. And and, and part of me, I mean, again, you know, I don't know what the numbers are, people, but. You know, part of me just says that, you know, Disney just has these prices to use them to help them sell the other properties. Like, hey, here's, you know, you're you're trying to buy Riviera right now. Well, look at Beach Club. We, you know, we sold this, you know, back in the 90s for $65 a point. It's now selling for two sixty five. dollars you know. But Disney buys back stuff. Yeah. There's, they're they're buying know. these contracts back and then they'll sell it to this person for two sixty five. dollars I, I guarantee you right now there's people on the wait list for Beach Club directly through Disney for $265 a point. He's he's that this guy is throwing out a lot of guarantees today. This guy is this a lot of guarantees. There is. I mean, I, 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 you know, you, you're, you're you're the broker, obviously, and you know Disney buys back stuff all the time. They've they've increased. Well, not, it. I mean, when you say all the time, I, I mean, mean they, they, it's, it's still a lower percentage, ten percent right, right, ballpark, well, twelve. I mean, but the resorts that they target right now 
are generally Saratoga, yeah. and, and really the, the trickiest one is Old Key West because Disney, it's really an unfair advantage in yeah. my opinion because they buy back a 2042 and then they just immediately change it to a 2057. So yeah. it's it's not really fair. It's not like they can take an Alani and change it to a subsidized or take a Vero and change it to a subsidized. They can't do that. But on Old Key West, they can just flip it to a 2057. So the two resorts that they target the most are Saratoga and Old Key West. Now, generally speaking, I will say that beach club and boardwalk owners don't typically get the offers, take the offers low enough for Disney's gonna buy it back. Now, sometimes it does happen. Um, so yes, you know, Disney's not buying something back because they don't think they can sell it. They're buying it back because they think they can resell it, like Scott says. So, you know, somebody's out there, you know, going to be buying it for the new rate oh, yeah. of 230 a point. So if you put a beach club through at 130 right now. I think Disney's going to buy it back and they, they'll have somebody pay the 265 to, to buy it from them. So, so uh, I mean, it's just, uh, I mean, again, I just, I just rather have you all, you know, cause the last thing you want is, you know, someone in, and, and generally speaking, would you say that the, um, it's new people that are going to buy these or is it someone that's already a member adding on or it's just a, a toss-up? I, I think it's probably new people. It, it, it's people who don't know better. It's, I, I think any, I, I hope that most people who have owned DVC for a while, I know it's not always the case, but I'm hoping that most people who've owned it for a while are more experienced and they've, they've been in forums, they've been on Facebook, they've done stuff where they go, hey, there is a resale market. And they know that this is selling for $150 in the resale market. And so they're not gonna pay the 265. I think a lot of times it's the people who just, who are learning, they don't know better. A lot of times, maybe not specifically for Beach Club, but especially for like the newer stuff, I think that a lot of times it's the families that come down here, they're in Magic Kingdom, their daughter's eyes are lit up, their son's eating a Dole Whip and it's dripping down. Everybody's having the best time they've ever had. And they see this and they go, heck yeah, I'm going to lock into, you know, 50 more years of this. My, look how much fun we're having. So I think like a, a lot of the people who are coming in have no idea resale even exists. They're just in the moment, locked in. It's, it's like going to the grocery store and, you know, at every grocery store, you go check out, they got, you know, they've got the stuff right there, you know, candy bars and stuff, just those last minute items where you're like, well, I wasn't even looking for that, but yeah, I want that. It's right here in front of me. And that's kind of like what Disney does. I wasn't playing a buying a timeshare, but we're having a great time and it's right here in front of me and they buy it on the spot and they don't realize that resale even exists. And keep in mind what he just, you know, like he said 50 years, but like these still yes. have the same end dates. Yes. Like you buy any one of these four resorts, it's still 2042. So it, it's not, uh, it's not like you're buying it and then it, it starts a new clock. It still ends 2042. And it's just one of those things I've been doing this, you know, since 2004. And majority of the time when someone is coming to me saying, hey, I need to sell this property, it's someone that that's used it. You know, some people do only use it two or three years, they sell it, but they've used it for a long time. And they're majority of the time, they're selling it for more than what they paid. Yeah. So it's, you know, you don't want to run into those people that say, hey, I, I need to sell this beach club. It's not working out for me for whatever reason. And all of a sudden you're like, okay, well, I just want to make you aware that, you know, the market value is this. If they took out a mortgage, you know, they may be upside down and it's just not, that's not the situation you want to be in because when you buy into this property, because again, if you buy in resale, and I mean, again, I've been doing this 2004, there's, there, there always has been a few yeah. ups and downs, but for the long haul, it's, it's the price is more now than when it was 2004. It's more now than 2012. So if you keep it for a short time, it's typically going to sell for more than what you paid for it. So you're able to get back. If, if you decide that it's not for you, you're able to, to sell it and get back what you paid in. So I have a couple of contracts that I bought probably 10 years ago that are, are worth more than double what I paid for them already. And again, I've used, I've used them for 10 years and enjoyed them for 10 years and rented out the points and made money for 10 years and they're worth double now. And so, I, bought, I bought resale, I, I've never bought direct. So I don't wanna you know, be that person that says, don't do this, but- Don't do it. But really, there's, you really, I mean, and if you say, hey, I have an argument for why you should do it, please let me know. But if, I don't think at this point that you should be buying these resorts directly from Disney at these prices because it's, you're not going to get the value for what, and especially if you're buying it to say, 
you know, to go on a Disney, you're buying it direct because you want to go on a Disney cruise. Well, don't don't use the money to buy at the boardwalk. Yeah, it's, and, it's, and it's not a good use of points. You're going down, down to go a whole new cruise, other yeah. road. But, you know, my tip for the day is do not buy these resorts directly from Disney at these prices. And uh, be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe, please. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers so I can get back to wearing a, a golf shirt as well. <laughs> um, we thank you for tu tuning in. I don't know if you have any uh, signing off things you want to say. No, definitely. Again, hit like, subscribe, check us out. We are on Twitter, we're on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. So, you know, visit our social media. You know, always feel free to interact with us, send, send us comments, questions, whatever it is. You know, we, we appreciate all of you and, you know, Thank you so much for watching. And for 2022, we're tracking how often his son eat uh, his sons eat dessert. So apparently, so thanks for watching. Have a great day.